How you guys doing? Evage and Athlete and IFBB Men's Physique Pro Champion, Jerry Buendia here. I'll be taking you guys through an ab workout that I like to do typically. I train your abs about four to five times a week. I don't like to train abs too heavy. I like to focus on the contraction of the muscle and understanding what's going on uh, physiologically within the body and how I'm going through the motion. Breathing is very important when training abs. It's very important to exhale before you contract. That way you're going to draw the waistline in instead of building it out. The first exercise we're going to do are weighted Swiss ball crunches. You're going to roll down. With the small of your back on the ball, butt should be off the ball. This is going to allow a full stretch and lengthening of the abdominal muscles. Place the weight right behind the head. We're going to stretch back. We're going to inhale. As we crunch up, we're going to exhale first while contracting the abs. <sighs> Squeeze, flex. Blow out as hard as you can, contract the abs. Inhale, stretch the abs all the way out, full extension. Blow it out, and contract, squeeze as hard as you can. And back out, you should feel it all the way through your obliques, all the way from the top to the bottom. I like to shoot for about 10 to 15 reps. Again, not heavy weight, but contraction and, and breathing. Is what's going to get the work out of the abdominal muscles. <laughs> if you're doing the exercise right, 10 pounds, 10 to 15 reps should be more than enough. <sighs> the next one I like to do is an abdominal layout. Again, the same thing. Contraction, understanding your breathing, lengthening and contracting the muscle. I like to focus more on the obliques on this exercise and lower abdominals. We're going to lay out completely. We're going to draw our heels to our glutes, the knees to our chest while we're exhaling. <sighs> Squeeze, contract as hard as you can. Lay back out, stretch it out. <sighs> it's very important to draw your heels to your glutes. That way you're going to contract the abs much more if you're post not doing that. <sighs> lay out, inhale, stretch the abs. <sighs> Blow out first, squeeze all the way up, full contraction. Again, 10 to 15 reps. You should get a good burn right off the bat. And two more. Controlling throughout the whole range of motion. Well, the last exercise I like to do for my obliques is a uh, side iso oblique crunch. So you're gonna go in a prone position on your side here. You're gonna keep your hips up, contracting the obliques the whole time. Bring this arm up. We're gonna bring our left knee or underneath the leg right here, right to our elbow, while exhaling and squeezing the obliques. <sighs> Control, stretch, hips up, flex the obliques, contract through. <sighs> Ten to fifteen reps. Make sure you open up and inhale as you return to the starting position. Blow out initially, contract all the way through as you twist and rotate. Full contraction, open back up, repeat it on the other side. Again, four sets, ten to fifteen reps. Do these exercises, you guys' abs will be spent. I'm here to demonstrate men's physique posing to you guys. Posing is a very important aspect of men's physique. A lot of guys come on stage with amazing packages, but what's going to differentiate is how somebody presents that package on the stage. Um, a lot of people are very traditional with their poses, and it's evolving as the sport grows. More and more impressive physiques are coming to the stage, and what's differentiating us is how we present ourselves and how we stand out on stage. You want to accentuate your strengths and minimize your weaknesses when you're posing. Firstly, I have a very small waist, a great taper, so I like to accentuate that. My front pose is unique to pose compared to anybody else's. What I like to do is I like to turn my hips at a 45 degree angle to minimize my waist even more. I turn my shoulders and smooth my hands to make the transition look real fluid. Okay? You want to take your time through your transition so you're able to present yourself, add a little more drama to your routine. It's about rotation, foot placement, and presentation.
everybody has a different spin on their presentation or their routine. But the thing is, you gotta create your own. I've taken many of my friends and different competitors, their styles, their transitions, and I've taken all what I've learned and I've created my own, and now I have my own style. Everybody's different, and you need to create your own unique flavor, your own style to what you do. Otherwise, it's gonna fall into the rest of what everybody else is doing. You gotta stand out. Everybody else is bringing incredible packages to the stage. You gotta separate yourself.